What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Welcome back into the Country Roads webcast here with another recruiting update video for the 2025 WVU football class. West Virginia lands not one, but two commitments in the same day. An athlete that's expected to play defensive back and an offensive lineman expected to be an interior offensive lineman, probably a guard or center to add to the 2025 class. And not only that, but they're both, you know, in state. And of course, those borderline states, the West Virginia has done such a good job of recruiting a West Virginia recruit and a Pennsylvania recruit for the Mountaineers here with these two players, Thomas Barr and Zod Jackson being the two. If you see them there on the whiteboard behind me, those are the names. Teams, but very excited about these, especially when you're talking about Zah Jackson, just due to the fact that, yet again, it continues to hammer home the fact that Neil Brown has done an absolute stellar job recruiting in the state of West Virginia since, you know, he came here to uh, be the coach of WVU, and he promised that when he came that he was going to try and lock down the state of West Virginia, and he has indeed done that, landing at least one of the top two players in the state every year, and he does that again and follows through with that following suit with Zah Jackson being the 2025 in-state commit. Now, for West Virginia, currently the top-ranked recruit in the state of West Virginia coming out of Huntington. Let's dive in a little bit on his commitment first here. Let's pull up a WVSN article talking a little bit about Zah Jackson. And as you can see here, as I said, the top-ranked recruit in West Virginia staying home. He's going to be a Mountaineer in 2025. This article is from Carl Ludwig over on WestVirginiaSportsNow.com. You can see here, Neil Brown has made it a priority to keep the top athletes in West Virginia home, and he's done it yet again with Zah Jackson, a 5'10", 180-pound, three-star cornerback from Huntington, officially committed to West Virginia a Thursday night, announcing his decision on Instagram with 304 committed. And you see here, there is the graphic that he put out on social media. Kind of a surprise. You know, a lot of these, the coaches put out a let's go tweet, then you'll see a commitment come up. This kind of went the opposite way. He had his commitment gra a graphic come up on Instagram, then the coaches shared, you know, their let's go tweets and things after that. So very excited to land Zod Jackson, someone they were really hoping to pick up. You see the offer list there. Other schools that offered were Akron, Appalachian State, Bowling Green, Eastern Kentucky, JMU, Kent State, Marshall, and Toledo to join uh, Liberty, Mississippi State, North Carolina State, and of course WVU. Those were the finalists there, those final four schools that I named there. West Virginia winning the battle over a couple other Power Five programs there, Mississippi State and NC State, to land the services of in-state recruit Zah Jackson. So excited to see that happen. Three-star defensive back in West Virginia, like we said, done a great job landing these in-state recruits, and they do it yet again with Zah Jackson currently rated as the 68th ranked quarterback cornerback excuse me in the 2025 class so number one player in the state of West Virginia top 70 cornerback in the entire country so good pickup here for West Virginia to add to this 2025 class but like I said he wasn't the only commit the Mountaineers picked up yesterday they actually added another offensive lineman to the fold we know the trenches have been strong for West Virginia and Thomas Barr is hoping to continue that tradition as you see yet again here covered on WVSportsNow.com from Carl Ludwig. West Virginia adds a commitment from 2025 Pennsylvania lineman Thomas Barr. As you see, the six foot four, 290-pound offensive lineman from the Haverford School in Pennsylvania announced his commitment to WVU on Thursday night. And West Virginia, yes, is one of the only Division I offers that he had. But, you know, West Virginia really liked what they saw with him. They think they found a diamond in the rough, and they were not afraid to reach out even when other schools haven't done so yet. And just because they haven't, I don't think that that means that they won't. You know, a lot of these schools come calling late in the process. And Thomas Barr could be one of those cases. I think last season, his junior year, he missed a lot of it due to a couple of injuries that he suffered. So once he gets on tape more his senior season, I think some other schools will really try and come knocking. And WV may have to fend those guys off once he picks up, you know, some ratings there from 247. Have yet Has yet to be rated there as a recruit because, you know, missing last season due to those injuries. But West Virginia really liked what they saw when they had him in camps. And, you know, he goes on to like West Virginia as well after, you know, coming to Morgantown a couple of times and committed to West Virginia yesterday. Joining Zod Jackson here in this 2025 class, you see here him announcing it on social media. You can follow him there if you want to on X Mountaineer Nation at T underscore bar 56. But he states here, 
After a great phone call with Coach Matt Moore, Neil Brown, and Coach Chad Scott, I'm excited to announce that I've committed to West Virginia University. And you see the picture there, the graphic that he shared, announcing his commitment. As we said, West Virginia was his first D1 offer, so hopefully that means he remains loyal to the Mountaineers if and when other schools do come calling, because they probably will later in the process. Like I said, West Virginia is always victim of that sometimes, but a lot of the times this staff's been able to find those players that remain loyal to the Mountaineers. And hopefully that's the case here with Thomas Barr. Like I said, yet to be rated, but hopefully that changes here in the near future. But what we can do is we can now update our 2025 commitment tracker here on the Country Roads webcast. West Virginia's class grows by two. It doubles in size. There's now four commitments here in the 2025 class. Let's take a look at it as it currently stands and add these two guys' names to the list. All right. And as we add these two to the list, we're going to add Thomas Barr and Zod Jackson, of course, the subjects of this video. But if you haven't yet, I do have separate videos on the commitments of Tyshawn Dews, another in-state recruit that West Virginia landed, one of the top in the state for 2025 as well. And quarterback Scotty Fox, the West Virginia quarterback recruit for the 2025 class there out of the state of Ohio. If you'd like to check those out, you certainly can do that as well. Those are up on the channel in the 2025 uh, CRW recruiting playlist. As West Virginia continues to try and build this class and now up to four commits here with the addition of Thomas Barr and Za Jackson. Excited for both of these guys to join the Mountaineers in the future. Like I said, uh, Za Jackson listed as an athlete, believed he'll be a defensive back for the Mountaineers. But, you know, just excited to see West Virginia continue to lock down the in-state recruits. Just like Neil Brown promised when he came here, and that's something that he has certainly followed through on tenfold. And hopefully that's something that continues to be the case throughout his tenure here. And West Virginia continues to find success with these in-state players, but not only these in-state players, but those borderline states as well. As you see here, all four commits coming from either in-state players or the borderline states. Two West Virginia commits, an Ohio commit, and now a Pennsylvania commit with Thomas Barr. So there is the 2025 West Virginia football class as it stands currently with these four commitments. All right, there you have it, Mountaineer Nation. Just wanted to provide a little recruiting update for the 2025 football class after West Virginia received both those verbal commitments yesterday in the same day. Pretty exciting to add both Za Jackson and Thomas Barr, but you've heard my thoughts here. I would love to hear yours. Drop them in the comments there below on West Virginia's 2025 class as a whole or either one of these two prospects that West Virginia's landed these verbals from. Love those interactions here on the channel. They really help us out just as hitting the thumbs up button does. You've given us a like on the video. really helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and do that. It'll really help us out a lot. And if you haven't already and you're a WVU fan, whether you like WVU football or WVU basketball, we try and cover both here on the CRW. Be sure, hit the subscribe button. Helps us, helps you, as it helps get more of this Mountaineer sports content out to Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, I appreciate you tuning into this video, and uh, stay tuned here for more recruiting coverage here on the CRW channel. WVU football coverage continues as well with spring football ongoing now and West Virginia basketball going to be having news of plenty after the new coaching hire. West Virginia is still building the coaching staff and the roster there on that side. So we're going to continue to try and cover all that here on the Country Roads webcast. So stick with us. Having said that, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz. And until next time, let's go Mountaineers. Mountaineers.